Hello everyone and happy Easter. Thank you so much for tuning in to my Facebook Live on Easter Sunday. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. So just hop on, let me know where you're from, say hi, and happy Easter again everyone. And just uh, share my videos, leave me your comments. I will be checking back and answering all the comments later on. So I know this is probably not the Easter that we all thought we'd be celebrating, but we're safe. That's the main thing. So sit, stay safe, stay in, and let's um, spend some Easter time together. Hi, Susan. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to get started. I know I'm working there because I see Susan on. Definitely share my videos. If you'd like to see more of my videos, keep sharing them. I am going to be retiring in a few years, not from Stampin' Up, from my day job. And maybe I can do a few more videos out there if I can retire a little quicker. Hi, Megan. Hi, Geraldine. How are you? Winnan, how you doing? Okay, so everybody's on. Great. So again, um, happy Easter. A uh, couple of things I want to go over real quick while everybody's logging on. Hi, Denise. Hi, Jean. Hi, Mercy. Okay. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank all the essential workers, the frontline workers, the hospital doctors, uh, you know, everybody that's had to work through this. We appreciate you every day for what you're doing. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I want to remind you that we do have online classes. I have a mini retreat going on right now for the month of April. Matter of fact, the first wave is over there going out uh, tomorrow and I just finished doing the video for it so that's uh, six projects they'll be doing and that's running for the whole month of April so if you'd like more information on that just go to my blog stampersdelight.com or it's in the feed of my Facebook page here or just contact me my email will be in the description hi Lori hi Vicki I also want to remind you that we do uh, Donna Gray and I do an online class and that's with the Ornate um, Garden Suite this month. So if you'd like to check out those, we have four different um, bundles or four different levels that you can order. Hi, Pam. How's the weather in North Carolina? It's gorgeous here today. Not real sunny, but warm. Hi, Matthew from Australia. Indiana. All right. North Carolina, Australia. Uh, hey, Donna. My, my uh, cohort there, Donna's on, Donna Gray. And I was just talking about our online classes. I got a couple of those sent out today, or they will be going out today. So I was busy doing videos most of the day. It's rainy. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so those are the classes. Don't forget to check them out. And I'm going <laughs> to... I thought about this. You know my saying every Friday morning, grab your coffee, grab your tea, come stamp with me. And on Sunday nights, I usually have a, a mug in my hand with water or something well it's easter so grab your coffee grab your tea i have a, a mudslide here so grab your wine whatever you're drinking for easter and come stamp with me okay and that tastes good all right so i'm gonna put this way over here because if i don't i'd probably spill it so as you um have noticed I've been doing a lot more. Um, oh, you like the shadow, the shadow stamping that I did on Friday. I'm glad you like that. And I was just going to say, I've been working more with um, backgrounds, um, techniques, things that I've done in the past 19 years. And they may be old, but they're coming back because a lot of people haven't seen these techniques. And I haven't done them in a long time. And I forget how fun they are. So what did we do? We did the mudslide. You haven't had one of those in years? I'm having one now. Um, so some of the techniques that I did, I did the shadow technique on Friday. Uh, the week before that, I did the rubber band technique. Um, I have a couple more coming up. And every time I plan on doing one for you, something else hits me. And I'm like, oh, no, I got to do that first. So let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera. And if you want to order from me this month, there's my host code. You want to use that if it's less than $150 because 
um, if it's $150 or more, you want to get your own uh, hostess rewards. Now, I do have to tell you that I sent out an email. Um, if you want to be on my newsletter, let me know. Um, anybody that ordered yesterday and today for an Easter special, any order, uh, I am going to send you a packet of the Noble Peacock Rhinestones. So any order, use that host code, and I will send you some Noble Peacock Rhinestones free. That's my Easter special. Okay, so for today's video, the technique that I'm going to do is called swiping. Now with that... Uh, I'm also going to do a different kind of fold that I've never done on, on Facebook yet. So kind of a two for one. Okay. Oh, we got Canada on here too. Hi, Karen. Okay. And before I get started with that, I do want to thank out, thank out, thank you to a few people. This is from Donna Ivy. A couple of cards that I received in the mail. This is from Stacy. I shouldn't use last names. I'm sorry. This is from Stacy. Some hand stamped cards. I always like to give shout outs. This is from Cindy. This is from Karen V, as we call her. We have a lot of Karens at my classes. So this is Karen V. This is from Maureen P. Not Power. <laughs> I want, it's not you, Maureen, but you have sent me some lovely cards. And then this one is um, from Mary Russell Gray. So thank you for the cards in the mail. I appreciate those. And we got Houston on. Okay. And Cheryl, you're catching me live from Ohio. Great. Okay. So we are going to do the swipe technique. Now, it's a very easy technique. I like it. It just gives a little texture. One thing I want to point out is the best thing to use for the swiping technique is actually your uh, felt ink pads. Now, I don't have a lot of felt ink pads left because obviously Stampin' Up! doesn't use the felt ones. The regular ones will work, but you have to play around with them. Some of them are too juicy and won't work with this technique. So I'm going to be using both so you can see. And let's, let me show you some of the cards that I did with the swiping technique. Now, it's very subtle, okay? It's very subtle. So here's the first card. Now you're probably saying, well, what is it? Well, let me bring it up close to you, close to the camera so you can see it. See the lines? This one, not so much. So some of the colors work better than others. But can you see that? The color is swiped, and the green really shows up. Now, I will tell you the green is our regular stamp pads, and they work pretty good. So this is using the Two a Wild Rose. This is in the annual catalog, and that is that does have dies, matching dies. I think it's still a bundle. Whoop, there's the, there's the Wild Rose. Okay, so that's the first one I'm going to show you. Now let me bring in another one. This purple one, here, let me put it down here first. So this I made into a picture frame, and then I, I popped some up. This is a little um, water coloring here. So let me show you up close so you can just see what I mean about the swiping. It just gives it a totally different effect. So, And I didn't show you the inside. I thought this was a great stamp set because it's, I love the word right there, we are blessed. So here is this one. And, of course, I don't have any sayings in here. It's just a cute little hello card. Yeah, I love the purple, too. Now I'm going to show you. I'm also going to be stamping a few things here. So let me show you this one. Okay, this one is another swiping technique. Now here you can see the peacock. See the swipe? See the texture it has? Okay. And of course, this is our um, embossing folder from the Ornate Garden. And then what I'm also going to be using, and I'll tell you those up front, and I'll put them in there, the numbers on the page later, the rectangle rectangle um, stitch framelits. You could see that right there. And there is a card that I'm going to be using the um, circle die for. 
So I like to show you all the dies. This one, I think everybody forgot about. This one is the Perfect Parcel Dies, but this is what I'm using from there, and you'll see that because it's right here. This great little die. Look at that. Nice stitched dies. You have to remember to look in all your dies because there's so many great ones that we tend to forget about. Okay, so that's another one. This one I'm actually going to stamp in a minute. But let me show you the um, fun fold we'll be doing later. Okay? So this is another one. You can see this is the Rococo Rose. And let me try to bring it up here so you can see it. See that sw swiping technique there? And then here's the card. And for this one, I use the Delicate Edgelets which you're going to see me use two of them. We forget about these. These are the edgelets. Okay. All these numbers will be in the um, description. Okay. So here is this one. And this is where I use that circle die. So there's my flower. It opens up this way. And then it opens up this way. Okay. And this, of course, is the perennial essence um, designer series paper and I just thought that went really nice with the two wild rows okay so that's another one and then I'll be showing you how to do this fold too look at this one this again is that edgelet dies and very subtle is the sw swiping on this card very subtle okay and this one opens like this Blessed to be your friend. I just, whoop, that's not supposed to be in there. Something got stuck on there while I was, <laughs> okay. So you see this folds this way and that way. And I'm going to show you that too. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so let me bring in my pieces. And I'll show you how this is done. So the first card that we're doing is I'm going to use the um, Coastal Cabana and I'm just going to go ahead and fold that. I could use my um, paper cutter, but that's over past my big shot, which I'm going to need tonight. So I'm just going to fold that and leave that right there. Now this piece I already did and you can see I used the embossing folder from the Ornate Garden. I also used the rectangle dies and that's going to layer right up there. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that first. I know I should be showing you the technique, right? But you'll see it. And I think you're going to like it. I got little pieces here. I think my blade needs to be changed. Okay. So what I did was I also used the stitch dies here. So you can see that. And this is our watercolor paper. Yeah, I got to change my blade. And this is some watercolor background I did. So this one I had already done earlier and let it dry. So I'm sure you've seen this before, but I'm going to show you how I did this. So this is uh, just a piece that we're not going to be using, but I'll show you what I did with it. Okay, so I'm going to bring in an acrylic block. I'm going to bring in just a drop. My reinker. My aqua painter, just drop a little water on that, whoop, and then just swirl it around. I want it kind of light. And then I just blend. And then you can add water to it. Whoop, and then just let it dry. Okay, that's how you're going to get the background. And I'll use this for something else once it dries. So I'll put that aside. Now this is our watercolor paper. Now I'm going to show you that with that little die or that I used from the uh, parcel dies, I'm going to do the same thing. Just take a little bit. And now this, I'm just going to add some color to that. Now this is regular Whisper White, so you don't want to put too much water on it and go back and forth because it will start tearing it the paper up. So I just have a little bit of water effect on there or background on there. All right. 
So that's a little bit of a technique, right? Okay, so now let's start with the flowers. All right, I have already actually got my flowers done. I've got, I did a lot of stuff up front, but now I'm going to show you how it's done, okay? All right, so I'm going to bring in my bold stamp. Now, this for this um, kind of technique, you really want something bold, okay? Not something like this. Now, this is three steps, but I'm only going to be using these two. Very easy, very quick. I'm going to take this pad, and again, it's a felt pad. You can use the newer pads, but not all the colors will work as well. And you'll see, because the green works great. And all I'm doing, see that? Look at the swipe. Just swipe. Just swipe. Who would have thought? I mean, that's it. Now, I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat. And I'm going to stamp that down. You don't care about those light and light and dark. You don't care about this, okay? You really don't. But if you don't like that white spot, you can go back in and do it again. So I'm going to do one more. So you can really see it. And then you're going to go in with your detailed one. And for this one, you don't have to use the felt. You can use the regular stamp pad. It's larger. It's quicker. Because you don't need the swipe effect on that. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up. And then line it up. You can use your Stamparatus to line these up also. As always, I never have enough room on my table. Okay. So there's that one. And then let's do this one. Look at that. See what I mean? You don't have to care about that white. I'll bring it real close. Look at that texture. Is that great or what? Oh, thanks, Marlene. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then what I would do is take my die and cut it out. But for television purposes, I've already done that. And I have three pieces right here. So... I'm going to bring in my watercolor paper and I am going to just arrange those the way I want them. Maybe this way, a little bit different here. There we go. And I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. I mean, it's a very e easy, quick technique. And the first one, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to lay that down flat and build it from there. Okay, I'm gonna take my sweater off first. It's actually pretty warm. So I'm gonna take my snail. This one has a little bit more of a white outside here. So I'm gonna start building that. Then I'm gonna take some dimensionals on the next one. You'll see me do the swipe again. Play around with that. Um, I will show you the green in a minute. I'm going to build it this way. I just want it up there. Then I got another one here. You can see I used the back. I didn't like this one that I used. So I just flipped it around and used the back side of the paper. Because we don't like to waste any paper, right? Okay, that one didn't come off right. There we go. Okay. And then the darker one I'm going to put right here. Okay, so there's my base. Okay, so I actually do have some flowers, uh, some leaves done, but I'm going to do it again so you can see the swipe. Now, this time, I'm actually going to use the regular ink pads. And I will tell you that I've played around with a lot of our inks. The, the old olive, maybe it's because it's an older one and it's not as juicy, works great. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to, you can tap it if you'd like, but then you want to gently drag it. Okay. Or swipe it. Bring in my pad here. Okay. 
see that I got a, a, when I swipe it, I get some dark and light images. It's that's what you want. Look at that. So we're going to do another one. Swipe. Ink, swipe. Okay, so let me bring those in. Because no leaves are all one color, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with the detailed stamp and my shaded spruce. So that was old olive. And I'm going to go right over those because this is two-step stamping. It's off-centered, but I don't really care about that. That's the beauty of this kind of stamping. Okay. And see how the swiping effect looks better? I could have stamped them a little bit better than that, but here, I'll bring this one in and show you this one. I swiped it, and I got variegated greens. Yes, definitely try it. Okay, so we're going to be cutting these out. Let's see, how many do I need? Well, I think I'll cut them, all three of them out. So let me grab my die. And you're just going to hear, I'm just going to go to the side and do this. So I don't have to drag this over here. For right now, I just need one. So I'm just going to do one for now. Okay, I can, I'll can. i grab another one later if I need it. Okay, so let's put that over here. So there's my other one. Okay, so let's bring this back in. Now I have two leaves. This is going to go right here, and I'm going to also bump that up on some dimensionals. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I have a couple of, I have more techniques that I'm going to be playing with in the next couple of weeks while we wait for the new catalog. I would love for you to be on my team. I want you on my team. So if you join my team now on, I think it's May, I want to say the first, it might be the fifth, you can get a sneak peek at the new catalog and start ordering from the new catalog. So you definitely want to be on my team and I definitely want you on my team okay so there we have that now let me bring in these leaves move that out of the way I'm gonna put these right here and right here now those I'll, I'll lay down flat so I'll just put, this, put some snail on there you can use and you can do this in any color like I said I played around with some colors some colors are just not don't work as well. Now here's that little tag that I did a little wash with it. I'm going to bring in the hello and I am going to grab my perfect peacock. I'm going to stamp hello. You could actually check this out. It doesn't really show up too well, but you can drag that and just get a little ver very variegated look to it. Because it's so small, but you see, when you swipe it, you got light and dark. So if you like that, you could do it right on that one. The only thing with these kind of pads, and this is what I was talking about, you see how you got that dark right here? That you do have to let dry, and I'm going to probably end up messing this up, because that really has to dry. That's why felt pads work better, because you don't have all that juice at the end of your Oop, actually, it worked out pretty good, as long as I pick it up with my fingers. There we go. And we're going to put that right here. I'm going to put those over here because I'll be using those colors again. And then what I'm going to do is somewhere around here I have, yes, my sequins. And these are our, our iridescent sequins. And I am going to take 
my Knight of Navy because I really well let me use let me grab the peacock instead. I'll show you why. I'm gonna grab the dark peacock. And I am going to color these. These are white, but with my blends, I can color the sequins. The reason I'm using the darker is because some of the color will come off as I'm moving these around. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome. And then I'm just going to slide these off and put them randomly wherever. I always like to put one on the same. Maybe one right here. So don't forget, you can color your sequins. You can color your pearls. And let's see. We got another one. So let's put that one right there. Okay. And that's my little hello card. Let's grab an inside for it. And for this one, I'm just going to grab... Oh, there it is, my peacock. And I'm just going to do an edge like that because if it says hello and I don't know what I'm going to say yet in that card I might be sending it to one of you send me your address to my email email me your address and I'll send you a card just don't hold me to how long it takes me to get that out to you and there you go there's your swiping technique look at that each flower is different and here it is with different colors. Again, still shots will be on my blog. I love this. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't want that color. I think I'm done with the green because I... Oh, no, nope, I need the green. Okay, so for the next card, remember I showed you my fold. The fold went like this. Right? Okay. Not even hard. Love this. So the first thing you're going to want to do, now you can use two of the thinner white. This happens to be the, let me grab the right one. This I have one thinner white, a regular white, and this is our thicker white. So the thicker white is actually going to be the front of my car, or the, the base of my car. I'm going to fold that in half. You can probably use two thin pieces, the, the regular white. This is the regular white. And I'm going to fold that in half. I love this. Okay. I'm going to open it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is stamp on the inside. So normally, when you're looking at the card, you would be stamping here. You're going to be stamping this side. Okay. So this side, I'm going to bring in True Friendship. And for this one, I'm going to use Pacific Point and Bommy Blue. They actually work pretty good, too, swiping. Okay, so right here. Oop, I forgot my pad, but that's okay. That's part of it. Now, I want a flower here, but I don't want it to go over here, so I'm just going to fold that in half for a second. I'm going to bring in my flower again. Okay, just going to let that dry for a second because that one is pretty juicy. So we'll put that up here. Now, this is my front of my card. I already have my piece of designer series paper, which fits right on top of that. You can cut it down just a tad if you want. I'm going to go ahead and put that right on here. Just have a little bit of white showing. Okay, so that's the front. Now this is pretty dry. This piece is actually going to go slide right in here and be glued down. And that's how you get your flap. But before we do that, we got to do some stamping and we got to do some edging. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the edge part just so I know where I want my flowers. So I'm going to bring those edgelets back in. 
this one's kind of wide. Won't leave, it really won't leave much flower space. So I don't want to use that one. This one I absolutely love. That's the one I showed you already. So I think I'm going to use that one again. Okay, I'm going to run this through the big shop. Now remember, it's got to be this side. And I'm going to do it over here. So let me just tell you, when I run it through the big shot, I'll run it up and back, and then I flip it and run it up and back. Okay, the reason I do that is it's a very detailed die. And this way, more of the pieces come out. So I'm just going to run it through the big shot. And I apologize that you're not seeing that. But if I do it over by the camera, the camera shakes. And sometimes I think that's what knocks me out of whack. So you hear me clicking away here. Now I'll bring it in and I'll show you. There it is. Now I'm just going to bring it over. You see how that didn't quite cut out? So now I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to do it face up. And most of those pieces will be cut now. And there still might be a couple that aren't, so I'm going to do it one more time. Like I said, it's a very detailed edge edgelet. And just gently pull that off. Okay. And then I'll just poke out those pieces. Most of them fall right out. You don't even need the brush. Just play around with that a little bit. Just leave me your comments. I'll be checking back later, if not later, tomorrow. One thing with this um, staycation, as I like to call it, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of TV at night with my husband, which we don't usually watch the same things, but... <laughs> Okay, so here you have the two pieces again. I'm going to go ahead and glue that inside there when I'm done. So this is your inside. I'm going to flip this over, and here we go with the swipe. Are you ready? Okay, I'm just going to make sure that this is cleaned off. Blue is blue, so it's not really going to matter too much, but I don't want too much blue on there. Oh, actually, I'm using the specific point on there. Okay, so... This is balmy blue, and again, this is the regular ink pad. So you just want to drag it gently. The lighter colors seem to work better than darker colors if you're not using a felt pad. So let's do this. Let's put one right here. Let's see how it comes out. Oh, yeah. Without the border, without the darker one, you can see the swipe. Almost looks like a linen. Swipe it down. And we'll do one right here. Oh, that one looks good too. It almost looks like you messed it up, doesn't it? <laughs> but you didn't. Okay, then I'm going to bring in the Pacific Point again. I'm going to ink that up. And I'm going to go right back in here. And hopefully it'll line up pretty good. Definitely Stamparatus is a good idea for this. Ah, perfect. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Look at that texture. I love this. I know. I get so excited. Okay. I'm just going to go right back in there. There we go. Okay. So now we got the blue. So let's do a little green. So let me bring in this one. Bring in the old olive. Swipe that. Now I gotta close this because I don't need the whole thing. So I'm gonna swipe. Again, I'm gonna swipe. And let's see, put put it, let's see, right about here. That's too big. I'll do something else here. Let me put it up here. Okay, that's good. Bring in the dark, which is my 
shaded spruce. Give it a little color right there and a little color right there. All right. Okay, so that's good for that. So let me finish this and show you what else we're going to do. Okay, so to lay that in there, you can use snail, you can use tear tape, you can use, I'm going to use snail right now, it's just quicker. I would probably use Tombow because it's more forgiving when you're trying to move it around because you really want to notch that up correctly. There's your fold. Okay. All right. Now, when you're done, you definitely want to burnish this really well. All right. Now I need, remember these two that I, I already stamped. I'm going to cut those out real quick because I do want those also. And, you know, I usually cut these out ahead of time, but I really wanted you to see the swiping. Oh, it's swooshing, but it's not. It's a it's a swipe. It does swipe. Okay. And here's the second one. Okay. So now I have the two pieces here that I'm going to be putting down. Now I'm going to bring in something else here, which is also from the Wild Rose, which is this nice big um, die, which I love. I'm going to bring in the blessed. I'm going to do that in the oops, Pacific point because I want to make this a little bit different than the one that I showed you. Now that could go right there and that white on white looks fine, but I think I'm going to add a little color to it. So let's just do a little sponging just to make it pop. And that's going to go right here. I think I'm going to bring it over so you can see those leaves a little bit. I'm going to do those on dimensionals. Now, remember, when you put dimensionals, if you're going over this piece, you don't want the dimensionals showing. So we're going to start right about here. Whoop, you're not in camera view. Right there. Put those right there. Let me put this right here. Now, see, there's no dimensionals there, so it won't show through. Yeah, that makes it pop out a little bit. I'm going to add some dimension by putting these leaves, and those are going to be on dimensionals, too. It adds a little bit more dimension to it. Are you liking these? Oh, thank you, Matthew. Glad you were able to tune in. Let's see, it's Monday there, right? So Easter's already over with. Did everybody have a nice quiet Easter? We did. I made dinner though, and I took took dinner down to my mom and my mother-in-law. Just had them open the door and hand them the dinner. Couldn't had to do something for Easter, right? Okay. And of course, I am so happy that you all tuned in to be with me this Easter. Thank you, Kathy. Definitely share my videos. Go to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to that also. Okay. So there's the front. Still not done, but got a couple more pieces here to, that I had cut out. Okay. So here we're going to use this and this piece right here. Blessed to be your friend. I'm going to give this one away. So you don't even have to email me. You can just tell me you want this card. And even if you're outside the United States, if you win, I will send it to you. I just don't know when we get to the post office. But I will pull that later tonight. And let's see, I'm just going to cut this off. I'm going to trim that. This is going to go right here. 
You can see I'm just I'm not bumping that up at all. And I'm also not cutting it with my paper trimmer, which I should do because I don't cut straight, but I'm doing pretty good. That's going to go right inside there. Okay, these things get all over. <laughs> okay. My husband's actually starting to complain about these, and he doesn't complain about anything when it comes to my stamping. But these little white pieces he's starting to complain about. Okay. So we're going to put that right there. So when you look at the card, it looks like this. And when you open it up, blessed to be your friend, and then that beautiful saying. But we're not quite done yet. We have some ribbon. This is our white crinkled ribbon from the mini catalog. I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, dark balmy blue blends. And I'm just going to hold that down, and I'm just going to color, make this blue ribbon. I don't want the white. I want blue. I'm just going to drag that. I don't need as long of a piece that's there, but it was left over, so. Okay, that should be plenty. Only takes a second to dry. Let me go ahead and wrap that. This ribbon ties very easy for bows. That's why I like it. Okay, so you don't have this stamp set. Um, anything with a bold stamp in it. Um, you know what one, if, if you have the tulips, that, this tulip one right here, the tulips would work. Anything with a dark, bold image would work with the swiping technique. Okay. So look through your stamps and see anything that you have with a dark, bold image. That will work. Um, I played around with the Perennial Essence. That worked too. That one. Okay, I want these a little bit smaller, I think. Well, let's see. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah. Just a tad smaller. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to take a glue dot or two and of course mine are on sheets because they're leftovers from my paper pumpkins when you order them they will be in a roll which are sometimes easier to use but we don't like to waste anything so I'm going to put that right there okay so now we have a nice colored ribbon okay and then again I'm going to bring in some of those sequins and this time I'm going to well let's see I might use the navy let me see if this see the the dark the dark balmy blue still doesn't work as well so it gives it too much of a light one light effect so I'm going to go with the dark because when it dries it dries lighter so I'm going to add some more here just adding some more there and then pick that off. Put one there. Let them dry for a couple of seconds. I'm not letting mine dry. I got ink all over my hands today. And my nails. <laughs> we don't care, right? We have fun when we're messy. Uh, put one right there. I like to have them off-centered, but I'm just not. Okay, that's enough on the front. I'm going to add some in here on the inside. That one just stuck to my finger. Where'd it go? Okay, we're going to, maybe we'll leave some white. That'll brighten this up. There we go. Okay, so actually I'm going to take that dark one off. I don't want that dark one there. We, we can change our card anytime we want. <laughs> and I just, oh, look at that. It's stuck to my fingernail. That's where the other blue one went. That's okay. Everything happens for a reason because I didn't want the blue one. Okay. So there we go. Um, yes, a solid stamp. You want a solid, bold image. So there's the front. And you open it that way. Open it that way, and there you have it. 
and again, let me bring it up so you can see the swiping. You can really see that right there. Look at that. Look at that texture. So let me bring this one back in so you can see the texture on that. Look at that. And each one is different. So let's look at the other cards. Again, these were all done with the swipe technique. So if you'd like one of these cards, just tell me, share my video, tag a friend, let me know. Here's another one with the center cut out. I like that. I'm going to be using this tech, this uh, fancy fold again, I can tell you that because I love it. And then this blessed one. So I will do the um, still shots and go to my blog, stampersdelight.com, and you'll see all the still shots. That might not happen till tomorrow morning. Now, I do want to tell you something real quick. I can't type in stampersdelight.com on my Facebook page because for some reason, Facebook blocked that stampersdelight.com. But you can type it in and get to my blog. And if you want to order, you can still order by going to stampersdelight.com. I just can't put it in the description. Why, I don't know. Facebook didn't like it, and it blocked me for however long. I don't know. <laughs> but that's okay. You can still order from me. You can still join me, join my team, because I definitely want you to be on my team. And you definitely want to be one of the first to get the new catalog and the new items. So I hope you really enjoyed the swipe technique and my fancy fold. Don't forget, um, I have, let's see, I don't know. I'll give out three of these cards. So let me know you want a card, okay? And I'll pick three lucky winners tomorrow, and I will announce it on my Facebook page. So again, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday evening, Monday if you're across the pond. Have a great week. I will see you back here Friday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for another technique. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.